Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's a great joy to meet you again through this Experience God videos and I'm glad to see you again today. Today we are going to talk something very serious and something which is absolutely needed for us. We all know this story in the Bible about a prodigal son. The father had two sons and one of the son rebelled against father. He says, no, I want my share of the property and let me go and enjoy this world. And I don't need your support. I don't need your love. I don't need any of your things in my life. So father has no choice, but he gave whatever the son asked. The son went out and he had the luxurious life, enjoyed the life, the pleasures of this world. But finally, he was bankrupt and he don't have anybody to support him. He was completely toiled out. He don't know what to do. His life was finally ruined. And then he remembered his father and he came back. He was very scared to meet his father because he thought his father will not take him back and he might punish him. But you know what happened? When the son came back and asked sorry to the father and repented from his mistakes, the father never looked on what the son did so far. He just came running and he hugged him and kissed him. The father was not even in a mood to listen to what the son is going to say or what the son, how the son is going to ask forgiveness. But the father was overjoyed and seeing the son. It is just that one matter that he came back to his father. The father was rejoiced and the father accepted him. This is what God wants us from today. He wants us to come back to him. Today the world teaches us that whatever we do is right. We don't need to think about anybody. We don't need to think about any other things. Whatever we feel, it is right. And whatever the society feels, it is the law of that community. Whatever the country feels good, it is the law of that nation. But today, we forgot one thing. We are rebelling against the God who sets the standards in our lives. We rebelled against God in the Garden of Eden and from that time we keep on rebelling against Him. Whenever we feel God's laws and moral values are not able to be met by us, we rebel against Him. We rebel against His standards because we are not able to meet that. But that does not mean that God is wrong and we are right. Many a times we see problems all around us, in our families, in our communities, in our, in our office, everywhere. The main problem is nobody wants to accept their mistakes. Nobody wants to realize that they have some problem in them. When somebody points a finger at us, we immediately point four fingers at them. We try to accuse them because we are not ready to accept our mistakes. But today, God wants us to realize and come back to him like that prodigal son. The first message of Jesus when he came to this world was this in Matthew 4, 17. It says, repent for the kingdom of God is near now. He never talked about love or forgiveness or anything. But the first thing he preached was about repentance. Repentance is to realize who we are and accept what is our mistake today. And that will help us to come near to God. Today, let this be our prayer. Lord, I accept who I am. I want to understand my mistakes. And Lord, I want to come to you. Instead of rebelling against you, instead of telling that you are wrong, let me tell, let me realize that I am wrong. And let me meet your standards so that my life will be happy and prosperous. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for this time you've given to all of us. Father, 
we fought, 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 fought against you. And finally, we are not able to make this world a better place with our own standards and own laws. We need you, Father, in our life. Lord, we understand who we are. I understand who I am. I realize my mistakes today, Lord. Instead of me pointing at others and pointing at you, today I realize my mistakes. Let me come back to you. Father, I want to come back to you as that prodigal son. And I want to receive your hug, receive your kiss in my life. Let the Lord come back in my life and reshape me. Reshape me. Thank you, Father. Thank you that you are going to do this. In Jesus' name, I surrender my life into your hands. In your name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you for joining and God bless you and have a wonderful day.